What's up, YouTube? Eddie from 802 Diesel Crew here. Today we got uh, another package that came in. We're gonna do a small little project. I think you guys are gonna like it, so stay tuned. Um, it's been a great week, so let's keep it going. Stay tuned. All right, so this package came from Florida. It's, it's pretty heavy. I'm surprised they sent it in something like this. Um, we're gonna have to open it up and check it out. Gotta get my trusty knife. Where did I leave my trusty knife? Oh, here's my trusty knife. You know, as always, the Gerber Gator. Uh, so I'll get in here. Cut this thing open. Oh, well, priority mail. It was shipped on the on the 18th. They must have kind of messed something up there because this is a heavy package to be sent in priority mail. I ordered this... Uh, not too long ago, I guess. And this has to go along with all my other, uh, all my other wiring stuff. Um, I'll show you how we used to wire stuff, and, uh, and the reason that I got this because this is going to be a lot easier. But uh, what we have inside here is I don't know if we can see a little sneak peek there. But uh, I ended up picking up some wire here. I forget how many spools it was, I believe it was 11. So we'll just keep making a pyramid here until we run out of spools to do it with. Yep, we got a packing slip right here uh, for all that wire. Right here, um, $53. Um, that's the parent number and the information on it. If you guys want to go ahead and order that from Amazon, or uh, I guess that's the best place that I found it for the cheapest price. You're talking each one is 100 feet, 16 gauge, and it comes with... Uh, 11 of them, you know, a variety of colors. Um, the ones that I would primarily use would probably be, uh, you know, black and red are primary colors, um, probably green. Um, what? Those are really the primary colors and white and maybe orange. But if you're doing like, say you're doing wiring for uh, for a car stereo or something, and you want to match up the colors, you're gonna have, you know, the rest of the colors in that loom pretty much. You have pink, gray, brown, blue, yellow, and purple. So for fifty dollars, you get eleven hundred feet of wire. I don't think that's a horrible deal, you know. Um, not much to be said about it. Looks like it's going to be good quality. I'm going to have to let you guys know at a later date how it's standing up. But for right now, I think that's a great deal. What I ended up figuring out, you know, we went to the, the store and we got a dowel. And then we got uh, three of these eyelids. So one eyelid is going to go on either side and then one in the middle. Now we just have to figure out where we're going to mount it. And I was thinking on this wall, you know, somewhere in here. Then I have my toolbox right here. So uh, decided that wasn't really a good spot. So I probably, if I was to wire anything to do any soldering or anything, I'd be doing it right at the table. My desk here. So I th I'm thinking that right in this area is going to be the perfect spot. So let's get into that and uh, see how it looks. I'm trying to make a holder for my wire here. And I think these dowels are going to be what I need. My hardware store, these have all these dowels. I'm thinking this size right here. So I'm going to pick one of these up. Coming to the hardware section. I think these are going to be the the way that I'm going to mount this thing onto the wall because 
As you can see, they fit perfectly. So I'm gonna get three of these, and this dowel, and uh, these three will go on the sides and then in the middle, which should be all good. Next up, we're gonna take one of the uh, eyelids here, eyelid bolts, come down, I need a battery, you're gonna need a drill, and I kind of already scoped it out a little bit. This looks like uh, it's going to be the right size drill bit. So let's get into it. So here's kind of the spot that I chose. Um, I'm going to break out a, you know, a Sharpie. We've got our level. So we can kind of make this thing legit. Uh, I think right about here is where I'm going to want the eyelids. So, right there, as you guys can see, the bubble is pretty much flat. So I'm just going to score a line, use half of the line that I made before to score the rest of it. The other half, you know, as long as you're using the other half, that, that eye, you know, that eye bubble on there, I don't know if you guys can see it, is level. And I'll just score the rest of it. So right there we have a pretty flat line. Don't mind uh, if nothing else looks square, but that is a definitely a square line. We got our bit. All right, let's poke a hole right about here. Uh, one, they're seamed together right there, so we'll go on the opposite side of that seam. One right there. Got in something good right there. And then we'll put one right here. And we'll take our eyelid bolts. And I got these because it seemed like they were going to be um, far enough away from the wall that it wasn't going to be a big deal for the spools. I'll grab a wrench, or rather a screwdriver, to use some leverage on this. And we'll do... That should look good right there. Move you guys a little bit here. Get this one started in. This one's going a lot easier. That middle one was into a looked like a uh, you know a stud or something. Not me, but a stud. And then we'll move this one over. And we'll do this last one. So we'll have to check this out. I'll get the dowel to see if it fits in there. So next up I got this dowel started. We'll get, a, get it going through here. And voila. Look at that, fellas. We have a... Uh, kind of a rail system now. So I'm gonna get the wire and we're gonna put it on there and see how it looks. All right, so let's give this a try. We'll go halfway. Uh, make sure that the leading edge of the wire, so when it rolls, it's rolling off. No particular order. I'm gonna put the ones that I use, are gonna use mostly on uh, the other, on this leading edge, right? So over here. Like we can fit one more in there. Uh, guess we'll put gray right there. Put the dowel back through. Then we'll move it to the opposite side. Then we're gonna go blue, green, white. 
Uh, actually, I'm gonna do black and red kind of close to this side. These are the big, gonna be the ones that I would take off the most if I needed to, along with the green and the white. So these are all gonna be on the, the far end. And then finally the white. Pull that through, push the dowel. And voila, for, for under, uh, I'll move this back even more, right? So now I have a place to put my tapes. I'm gonna put all my tapes up here. For when I need them. They'll have a nice little home, it'll be organized. So for all said and told, even with the wire and the dowel and the two screws, or three screws, the three screws were a um, dollar fifty a piece, and then the dowel was maybe two dollars. So a dollar fifty, dollar fifty. You're talking four fifty. The dowel was another dollar fifty, two dollars somewhere in there. So about six dollars into that. And then the wire was again, like I showed you on the receipt, about $53, so 60 bucks. I've got myself a sweet wiring set up here. Um, this is the total look for my desk. Um, this will be a great area to work if I'm doing like intricate stuff and I'm soldering. Um, all the wire I'll have needs right there. Um, thank you for subscribing and watching. And sisters, I forgot the sisters, I'm sure. I've looked at my percentages, and there are a couple females that watch me. I'm single, ladies. Just kidding. But uh, this is just uh, an idea of something that you could do at your house um, to organize your wiring, and uh, you know, keep it neat and clean and relatively cheap if you're into wiring. Um, this is the setup that I have, and I'm going to use for now. Um, you know, for on the, on the cheap, it's real good, and it's going to work for what I need here at the the homestead. So, uh, again, thank you for subscribing. If you like my content, if you like my videos, please hit me up in the, um, in the comments. Tell me about your wiring nightmares, or not nightmares. Have you used extension cords before <laughs> for uh, doing, let's say, a car, car wiring? Um, things along those lines. You know, I always like the thumbs up. That, uh, that really helps me to, to judge if I'm doing a good job or not. And uh, hit that notification bell. I'll be putting out a lot of content over the summer. You know, I'll be doing a lot of fun stuff. Uh, i got some mud bogs coming up and some other things that we'll be doing. Um, fishing adventures, you know, just different stuff. I'm going to broaden my uh, channel out a little bit. And uh, it's going to be, a, you know, it's going to be a good time. So please subscribe, um, share, like, and hit that notification bell. I mean, all if you want to. Again, um, should check out my giveaway if you haven't subscribed to that. Um, definitely leave a comment because that is the three stipulations as I said before if you're a member well you have to be a member subscribed you have to leave a comment in the description of the video and you have to like the video you have to do all three of those things to be entered so if you're a subscriber you still have to go on to the video like it and write a comment pretty easy right so, happy Sunday. You know, I hope everybody's week went well. Um, I had a great time. Uh, you know, I'm just every day pushing, pushing harder than the next day, you know. As tired as I might be when I wake up in the morning, I know that today could be the day that I impress somebody or I make a difference where it opens up that, that door, that opportunity. You never know what is around the next corner unless you're, you're trying, unless you're getting out there and you're doing the damn thing. So, uh, you know, stay strong, and uh, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Eddie802, checking out.